database design tutorial. Learn how to design databases with Vertabello. Part 2. Table Columns and Data Types In the previous video, we talked about what a database is and what a table is. We defined two tables, person and car. It is a structure, the definition of what kind of data will be stored in a database. The structure of a table consists of columns. Every column definition must have information about its data type. Columns may have different types, numeric, strings, date and time, and many others. Data types are dependent on a database management system. Oracle, IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MySQL, and others. Let's take a quick look at the most commonly used data types. Integer. A number without a fractional component. It's also one of the most commonly used data types. With integer, you can store a number of products, number of people, or numerical identifiers. Float. An inexact floating point number. You could use it to hold your weight. It doesn't need to be very precise. Decimal. An exact specified precision decimal number. Perfect for storing money. Character. A fixed length string is good for codes that have a constant length. Character varying. A variable length string holding no more than n characters. That's the most common type for storing short textual data. Date. A date without time of day. It's used when the exact time doesn't matter or is unknown, for example, date of birth. Timestamp. Both date and time. Use it whenever you have to keep an exact time of occurrence of an event. Boolean. Logical value, true or false. It could be information such as whether someone watched this video to the end or not. Binary large object. They may be images or long text, for example. So now let's define data types for cars columns. Vehicle identification number is exactly 17 characters long. Brand is a variable length string, 50 characters should be enough. It's the same case with a model. Production here is an integer. First registration date is a date. Photo is a binary large object. Information about whether a car is registered or not is a Boolean value. Price is a two digits precision decimal number which must be exact. Mileage may be an inexact floating point number. And time of last refueling is date and time, that is, timestamp. Now, try to do the same with a person table. After you do that, watch our next video explaining how we can model a relationship between a person and a car. Vertabello. Design databases online.